over 900 playing hours. Yes, I love Assetto Corsa to death. And the main reason for that is the sheer endless number of high quality mods that keep me entertained for hours on end. So I thought to myself, why not share my top 10 all time favorite Assetto Corsa mods with you guys? Oh wait, then I have to restrain to only 10, oh my god. Uh, I mean my top 15 mods of all time. Let's go! And with that, welcome back to the channel. My name is Champion Joe and I brought with me today my top 15 mods for Assetto Corsa. And of course, disclaimer, this is my personal list, my list of my favorite cars for Assetto Corsa. If you disagree, let me know in the comments down below which mods do you prefer, but take everything with a grain of salt. Oh, and let me know in the comments which cars on my list are completely new to you. That's always one of the most exciting parts when yeah, creating a list like this, surprising people with new content they didn't even know existed. But let's jump in at number 15 and with a really strong pack of cars, the RSS GT pack. Oh yeah, there will be a lot of packs on this list, but I promise that I will always pick my favorite of the bunch. Which is in this case the Vortex V10 or rather Chrysler Viper GTSR or Dodge Viper, however you want to look at it. Racing Studios. Phenomenal AC modding studio, put out some real banger cars over the years. And for me personally, this pack is something special, as it features one of the most exciting times in GT racing overall, the late 90s or early 2000s. V10s, V12 engines, one big homologated field of GT1 cars. This is the forerunner series of what we know and love about GT3 today. And this pack, it sounds great, the cars are tricky to drive and serious fun on track. The only downer I think is the costs, um, it's about additional 12 pounds, uh, which makes it really hard to find some online competition with them. Um, which is the main reason why this pack is so far down on this list. But still, big recommendation from my side is you might not find anything else that comes even close to the level of this quality. At P14, we have a car which is yeah, sentimental for me. My favorite sports car from my youth, the Ferrari 512 Testarossa. And not only is this one of the most beautiful cars that was ever created, no, this AC mod from car designer Alberto Daniel Russo also does this legendary Ferrari justice. Alberto is maybe not the most known name in the scene, but he actually published some of the best road cars in game. Oh, and he also works with Race Sim Studios and created some of the models we just saw in the RSS GT pack. So if you haven't checked out his work, I highly recommend you to do so, as all of his cars are of the highest quality in all aspects and can fill the gap for you uh, to find a go-to car for chill ride through the Californian seaside. Next, I have another car pack for you, and this one is also a blast from the past. The Assetto Corsa Legends pack from Baza features some of the most legendary sports cars from the 60s and 70s, like the De Tommaso Pantera, which is actually the only car in the pack that was not created by Baza. <laughs> no, this beauty was made by Pescio Garage, which is known for some beautiful vintage cars that feature a lot of small, detailed work like fully functioning odometer, for example. The Pantera in the pack is a Group 4 version from 1972 that also competed at Le Mans and yeah, it's a blast to drive. Pro tip, on the website link in the video description you can find many more awesome car packs from the past like 60s classics, 70s classics, vintage F1, F2, F3 and many more so check it out. Moving closer to the top 10, I have a car pack of two cars that promise some of the best online racing in the game. The Formula Ford pack. Small nimble, not a lot of horsepower, no rear wing and a twitchy rear. The two Formula 2600 models from Ford and Honda, which are provided, have everything you need for yeah, small form factor racing. Those two need you to be very precise with your steering as the tires can't carry a lot of grip and the rear introduces basically no downforce at all, which will lead to uncontrolled spins if you overdo it on the corner entry. Some basic setup knowledge is definitely required to handle the Formula Fords to yeah, counteract their twitchy nature. But in my opinion, they produce some of the best online racing I ever had in AC with chaotic fights on track and many drivers that could perform relatively equally with this machinery. Also not quite in the top 10 is the 
Caterham Academy 2020. I hope I said it this time correctly, not like last time. And this mod is from Benno Bro, a fantastic modder who also gifted us with the gorgeous Union Island. But back to the KDM. This is the perfect vehicle if you want to get into sim racing. Wonderfully crafted 3D model with out of this world textures paired with solid racing physics from Jackie CY. This is an absolute must have mod for smaller racetracks. And as I said, maybe the best car to learn the ins and outs of racing itself. It's much easier to drive than the Formula Fords we were talking about just uh, a minute ago, but still needs a lot of attention to the right steering angle and speed you carry through each turn. So go and get it, it's free. This one is really close to my heart and most likely a car absolutely no one heard about yet. The RWD Phoenix P30 LMP1. This one was created by a friend of mine, Cem Flumi. He took the fictive car brand from the Project Car series and ported this beauty into AC. But don't get this wrong, aside from the 3D model that is from Slightly Mad Studios, everything else is handcrafted and beautifully executed by him. There are not a lot of free prototype mods on the market, which makes this a no-brainer for everybody who's searching for a free alternative to VRC or the UAD mods that are available for money. And the P30 really knows how to cast a spell on me. It's laser fast, super reactive with tons of mechanical and aerodynamic grip, is equipped with a fully functional ERS and screams like it's trying to kill the opponents rather than only overtake them. And I know that Max is also working on the LMP2 version of this car and some other mods that potentially would make this list. But they're not released yet, so definitely a modder to keep an eye out for. Next prototype on the list, the IERP30C. For many AC fans, the single best car that was ever created. And yes, it's superbly done with maybe one of the best physics calculations ever seen in an AC mod. But first of all, it's still a $5 purchase, even after all those years. And secondly, IER doesn't really exist anymore. So purchasing this mod won't help fund new projects from them in the future, which is a real shame, because this car has it all. Good looks, the aforementioned revolutionary custom physics that were just ahead of their time, as well as a good sound. For me, it's not as high on the list, as I haven't driven a whole lot with it. Although, it definitely deserves all the praise it gets from the AC modding community, for sure. Okay, next I have the best free GTE mod out there for you. The Porsche 911 RSR 2018 from United Racing Design. This one sadly comes with a .exe file as the installer, as it builds upon the already existing Porsche 911 GT3 R 2016 from Kunos, which makes the installation process a bit trickier if you want to avoid sharing Kunos data. But after the car is installed, you receive one of the best content pieces for AC overall. It may be the best sounding car of them all. Have a listen. It's like an orchestra of angry bees and I love it. Maybe the sound is a bit too loud, but who cares really? Driving wise, it's up there too. Um, only the brakes are maybe a bit too sensitive, but hey, it's a Porsche, not a Dacia. Would be a shame if it was easy to drive, right? Waiting at P7, I have another car pack for you. The GT2 pack from Guerrilla Mods. You can find the pack featuring seven different cars on their Patreon page, where you can get the mods for only a dollar, I think, for a month. And there are even more cars planned for the future, but what's here now already knows how to impress. My favorite beast among those really beautiful cars is the Brabham BT-63, which just embodies track racing for me. The Australian sports car manufacturer from the son of the former F1 world champion Jack Brabham really outdid themselves with the BT-63, which is just thrilling to drive. But overall, this pack features some cars that you can't find anywhere else like the BMW M2 GT2, as it is fictional <laughs> to bolster up the pack even more. Edging closer to the top spots, I have the Porsche 962 Group C from LTK for you. And yes, this car is also vanilla in the game from Kunos, but I really think that this mod outshines the original in terms of quality. There are not many cars in AC that look that detailed, have this level of drivability and just capture the past this well. Group C was a wonderful time in motor racing and set the path for what we know and love nowadays as prototype racing. The Porsche 9 
6-2 was an all-winning card that dominated its era and I think you can't miss out on this one. Entering the top 5, we start with a fully licensed prototype from United Racing Design, the Scuderia Clickenhaus 007 LMH. What a beauty! <laughs> and one of the rare LMH cars we currently have in the sim. Clickenhaus is known for their passion in endurance racing and what they have achieved with this car is just incredible, keeping in mind how small the US-based manufacturer is compared to their competition. You are DMated so that we can drive this beauty in the sim and they have taken out all the stops, but a worthy one indeed. Next I have the best GT3 mod for AC for you guys, the Lexus RCF GT3, converted from ACC from Element 1999. And yes, there are countless really beautiful conversions from ACC GT3 cars for AC, but this one just does all the stops right. The model is perfectly spruced after the conversion, the physics are handcrafted and well put to use, and the overall driving experience is one truly unmatched by any other GT3 rival in the game. Maybe not everyone's favorite GT3, but definitely a blast in Assetto Corsa and a must-have mod for all GT3 lovers out there. It's time for the top 3 and oh boy was it hard to pick the 3 best mods in this list. In the end I went for the second car pack from Guerrilla Mods, their GT4 pack. This single pack could have been easily been 2 on this list if it was finished, but sadly it isn't and it still needs some time to be completed. Now it features 15 different cars, some made from scratch, some converted from ACC and the models oh, it looks so good in all cases many drive heavenly but others yeah still need some work but the biggest problem with the pack not being finished yet is that there's no working bop for them which makes online racing with a diverse roster of cars almost impossible some are just so much quicker than others which requires you to limit the amount of available cars to one in online competitions if you don't want the discussion to get out of hand afterwards. But some of the rides in this pack count among the best AC has to offer for real. The Porsche Cayman, the McLaren or the completely scratch made Sin R1 from Bulgaria are just the cream of the crop. And the best part? The mod pack is free of charge. Just incredible work from Guerrilla there. P2 also belongs to an array of cars, even though you have to buy them separately. The virtual racing cars prototypes, namely the Bicolin P1, Revenga R13 and the Vendetta V60. Maybe I'm a bit biased about them right now as I'm hosting a racing league soon with those cars, but I'm madly in love with this vehicles. Models, sound and the driving physics are the sharp end of Assetto Corsa mods and feature the best out there in terms of prototype racing. And sure, there are other mods from VRC like the 2021 Indy car they made that I could have picked on this spot, but hey, for me prototypes are just something special. Which brings us to number one. This is the VRC Formula Alpha 2022, the most complete F1 car and overall best Assetto Corsa mod out there. It has custom animations for the driver, the wings, features different body kits and is equipped with custom physics that enable real paw poising that mirror the latest developments in the real sport. The audio is a masterpiece that sounds just like on TV and the overall level of detail that was put into this car is off the charts. Sure. You could argue that RSS did a better job with their version of this car and if you feel that way I can respect that but for me this car feels like being in control of the real deal while the RSS drives like it's going on rails. So if you're searching for the ultimate Formula 1 experience look no further as this comes as close as it gets. And I remember talking to the VRC devs during the development of this car about how they recalculated their entire tire behavior after the Spanish Grand Prix because the times achieved with the mod varied by one or two tenths from the real cars. Mind-boggling work and I can't wait to see what's up their sleeves next. What do you think is the best mod for AC out there? 
maybe the DRM Revival Pack or the legendary S40 Volvo BTCC. Maybe even the free Formula Hybrid from RSS from 2017. No matter what, let me know in the comments down below and also don't forget to tell me what mod on this list surprised you. Can't wait to hear from you guys. But that's everything already for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you next time around. Cheers!